Welcome to the module 4 of your course on a guide to distance learning. This module is going to be centered on learners support services. Let's begin by defining learner support services and the purposes for services. Learner support is one critical component of an effective open and distance learning environment. It has been variously defined and it does not have a widely accepted definition. Garrison and Beatty in 1987, define learner support services as the resources that learners can access in order to carry out the learning process. Support is concerned with a range of human and non-human resources to guide and facilitate the educational transaction that is from Garrison. Simpson sees learner support services as all measures beyond the production of study materials that support students in their learning process. Now, Simpson brought in another dimension by defining or differentiating between two types of learner support services. One he called the academic support and the other the non academic support. Now let's zero in on the academic support. Academic support includes the defining of the definition of the course territory, explanation of concepts, explaining or explanation of the course, feedback, whether formal or informal assessment, developing learning skills such as numeracy and literacy skills, now, watching and looking at student progress through the course. Enrichment, that is extending the boundaries of the course and sharing the excitement of learning. Non-academic support includes the following. Giving information, exploring problems and suggesting directions, assessment, giving feedback to the individual, on non-academic aptitudes and skills, action, that's practical help to promote the study, advocacy, making out a case for funding, writing a reference, agitation, promoting changes within the institution to benefit the administration and also opposing students. What are the functions of learner support? Now, the first function in learner support is what is called cognitive function. Cognitive support facilitates learning through the mediation of the standard and uniform elements of course materials and learning resources for individual settings. The affective function, this concerns the provision of environment that supports students, that create communities and enhances self-esteem. Now, the systemic function, this is the support that establishes most of the administrative processes, information management system, effective and transparent, and also student-friendly functions. <laughs> 